Hi, I'm a prefect at Charleston Academy. Uh, part of my role here is to assist in younger classrooms. Well, what I've found already is that in our music department we've had leaks coming through the roof, um, which is already affecting our younger years in their first couple of days at school, which isn't really the first impression you want to give to younger kids who are coming up um, slightly nervous. You know, we make the best of a bad situation here. Um, over in our PE department we used to have holes in our roofs. Um, you know, it's been repaired in the last sort of year or so, which is, which is fantastic. But the rest of our school is still struggling, um, so it's something that we feel that would be really important to fix. I'm an S6 people at Charleston Academy. I'm just going to talk for a minute about the state of the school, uh, the physical building itself, especially in practical departments. These practical departments are still uh, somewhat dilapidated. Uh, a few years ago there was an asbestos problem in the science department. It got in the way of people's studies and stunted people's enthusiasm for these subjects. Hi, I'm a sixth year prefect and I'm planning to study biomedical science after I leave. And through this, the science department is needing a lot of improvements to help people like me and people in my younger years achieve what they need to get to their future. For instance, the STEM club is mainly based in the science department and there's been lots of leaks, there's been asbestos problems which has prevented people from actually being there. And these sort of things are helping people improve their future, their CVs, the things they need. So that's like a big improvement to the science department is needed. I'm one of the lead prefects at Charleston Academy and what I'd like to talk about today is the fact that the school itself structurally is not very good. If you drive past our school, you will see that the outside of the building, it looks really mouldy, it's got a lot of moss on it, you can't, it's, it's very green, you can tell that it was built in the 70s. It's the same on the roof and this causes a lot of leaks in our school, especially in the art department, the technical department. Hi, I'm a prefect at Trustman Academy and I would like to talk about how the outline and plan of the classrooms are really affecting our learning. It's horrible to sit in, the chairs are still the same chairs that we had from the 70s, nothing is updated, it's uncomfortable, you, you just cannot learn that way. We do not have the equipment that's necessary for us to properly learn about our subjects. Projectors don't work, taps don't work, so we need to improve it, we need to update it if we want to try and make fair learning in our classrooms. Today I'd like to talk about some of the issues we're having throughout our school. While we have great pupils and great staff, we are having some issues in terms of facilities. Like in the techie department, we have an indoor pipe which is running for drains and it's obviously, while it's productive, in fact it's helping inside the school, it's obviously shabby and something we shouldn't have to be dealing with. In the techie departments and as well as in the art department, it's really difficult to learn in terms of the fact that the classrooms aren't working well, we've not got the correct facilities either, we've not got the things we need for going forward and learning, and that's something that obviously needs to be improved if we want to have the best shot in our education. I'm a prefect at Charleston Academy. I'd like to talk about the issues, especially with the science department in the school. There has been asbestos found, which is obviously a massive health hazard, and we had to evacuate the whole floor and to be shut down for quite a while. This means that the students can't have a proper learning and it's an unhealthy environment. In the science department, we have very substandard equipment and it disrupts the productive learning that the students need and this will affect their futures in the long run. So we need this money to help our school. We studied at the school for six years and the sporting facilities are great. However, the, the indoor science and especially like the science and techie departments, they're a bit worn down. So I think the money would be really beneficial to the school for that. My name's Kate and I've been a parent for some years at Charleston Academy. This video was put together by the pupils and the parents, the parent council of our school, because you know, we have a great school. We have good teachers, we have good pupils. What we're let down by is our building. And we're really appealing to you to give us the funding that we need to build a science block with up-to-date facilities. So please help us to do our best for our kids.